Welcome to my Effortlessly Chic pre-fall lookbook for 2021 with all my favourite outfit ideas I should be wearing. It's definitely been a strange summer and not just for the obvious. I think it's fair to say that the weather has been all over the place of late. Summer dresses in April, raincoats in May, jumpers in June and a combination of all three recently. It's times like these that those transitional pieces can really come in handy. So that's what I'm going to be delving into today styling those transitional outfit ideas that you can reach for whatever the weather. Also, today's video has very kindly been sponsored by Naywai, a beautiful company specializing in the most comfortable lingerie and loungewear that I've tried in a long while. So I'm very excited to share all the pieces I chose from their new collection a little bit later in this video. At the end of this video, I would be really grateful if you could not only follow the link to have a look at Naywai's collection for yourself, but also to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Along with liking videos you enjoy, that is honestly one of the best ways you can support independent creators on YouTube. Okay, let's dive straight in with my 2021 pre-fall lookbook. The first outfit idea is something I've been styling in every which way recently, depending on the weather. The key for me with this look is starting with a good and comfortable base, i.e. one of my favorite pairs of trousers paired with a simple tee. And then you can play with it from there if it's hot or cold or torrential rain, for example. So as you can see, I've layered my Parisian style blazer over the top, but I think it would work just as well with a boxy coat if you needed it, or even a big chunky knit if it's feeling super arctic out there. Equally, if you wanted that smartness but it's a little bit too hot, you could just pair it with a simple camisole top underneath. That way you're giving yourself lots of breathability. It's just a very simple and light layer underneath your blazer. For pre-fall, I've switched out a lot of my sandals for belly flats and boots instead. Here I'm integrating my super soft camel version and then keeping it everyday chic with my oversized tote. The bigger the better, as it happens for the autumn winter 2021 trends, as we will see as we move further into the season. What I really love most about pre-fall collections is their timeless appeal. They're often the perfect crossover piece that will work in all the seasons, which seamlessly brings me to my next outfit idea. Beautiful dress created by one of my favorite Parisian brands, Sandro Paris. Now, after much lusting over their new collection, I decided on this dress because I thought it would be the most versatile in my own wardrobe. Slightly chintz style florals are another big trend, for this autumn winter, so looking ahead, I knew it would tick that box. Split here and the short sleeves means it will work nicely for the heat, but equally it could be layered with a pair of tights, a cardigan, a pair of ankle boots for when it's cold. And then of course, just on an aesthetic level, I just love the shape, the feel, the whole vibe of the dress. That shoulder detail is just so beautiful and really original and it kind of reminds me of those very old school Parisian tea dresses that I often talk about. I'm literally covering all bases in this outfit idea and I'm feeling effortlessly chic while I do it. But hopefully you all love this one as much as me but do let me know in the comments section below. Now one big factor to making your outfits look and feel effortless is about comfort. If you're not truly comfortable, it's really hard to look at. And that really starts from the ground up. What you're wearing underneath will always make a huge difference to your overall look. Which brings me to today's sponsor, Naywai, a fashion brand that has perfected what it is that makes women feel truly comfortable with their second skin lingerie and loungewear. So firstly, I chose a couple of pieces from their Barely Zero range. A collection of lingerie made from their deliciously sounding fabric, Cloud Fit, which is very apt as well because it does feel very soft and cloud-like when you wear it. The wonderful thing about these bras is there's no size limitation. Your size is the size, so it will quite literally mould and hold to your very own body shape. Now not only does that feel incredibly comfortable, but it also means you can have that lovely smooth, clean line underneath your clothes. On top of all of that, there's nothing wasteful about Naywise packaging either. Everything arrived in these lovely minimal packages, which are made from 100% recycled materials. On top of the Barely Zero collection, I was also really keen to try out the original and best-selling wireless triangle bra. It's been made from this beautiful blend of Supima cotton, tensile and modal, which just makes it really, really soft. And again, a bit like the Barely Zero collection, 
I think because it's so comfortable, it's going to end up being one of those everyday sets for me. Now, not only do Ne Y have a beautiful collection of really comfortable lingerie, they've got loungewear, daywear, but they also have a fantastic range of active wear as well. So I very gladly chose a couple of pieces from that collection too. So I went for the sculpt full length leggings in this lovely blue shade that they call Monument and then the matching sports bra as well. And then to finish off, I went for the yoga pants because I just thought they were such an interesting shape. It's very original, nice uh, slit detail down the side of the leg there, so you've got a bit of breathability, and that really nice frill detail across the back, making them feel a little bit different. They would work alone, obviously, but as a set, I do think it's really pretty. So that's some really beautiful, high quality, and comfortable pieces from Nay that I feel very lucky to have in my wardrobe. And don't forget at the end of this video to follow the link in the description box below to discover their full range for yourself. And if you do fancy treating yourself to some cloud-like comfort, I have a 20% off discount code for you there as well. Now when I think about my perfect pre-fall combination, it would look something like this. Similar but different to outfit number one. A great fitting pair of trousers, slightly loose, more low slung rather than high, paired with a simple but contrasting fitted top. Finishing the look with my denim jacket slung over my arm, my small but perfectly formed Palem Paris handbag, and keeping me cool and laid back with my simple camel sandals on my feet. It's a lot to do with contrast, both in shape, fit, and fabric content. Transitional weather has a tendency to throw a real spanner in the works. You could be wearing a very pretty dress and you head out to town and suddenly you have a torrential rain downpour. So thinking about all eventualities with the weather will definitely stand you in good stead. So as you can see, going for something slightly looser on my bottom half does make me naturally want to go for something a bit tighter fitting on the top, giving me more definition and it helps to elongate my shape. Sorry, a little chocolate interlude, but my lovely friend Karen, who I've mentioned to you before, she runs the brand uh, by committee. She just stopped by and bought this amazing chocolate cake for the boys, which as you can see, in two minutes flat, they've already tucked into, and may have just had a tiny bit, and it's absolutely delicious. So yes, as you can imagine, that went down a storm with the boys. Okay, where was I? Back to looking effortlessly chic this pre-fall. And you can never really go wrong with beige, white, or cream knitwear. There's just something about it that instantly makes me feel more stylish and polished. And you don't even have to go with a full tonal look either. Just a jumper or a cardigan in that shade seems to be enough to really elevate an outfit. So thinking about mixing my high and low pieces, I've gone for a bit of everything with this next outfit. And it's definitely ticking all my wearable boxes. I'm really enjoying styling these deep camel trousers with just about anything, but I particularly like them with lighter tones. And of course that doesn't mean they just have to be saved for warm weather. The cotton on these is definitely heavy enough that they will work well for autumn too. And styling them with a fluffy knit, I think not only looks really lovely together, but it makes those trousers work even harder for me. Now, though there's something really gorgeous about chunky knits styled with sandals or flip-flops even, in that very LA laid back kind of vibe, I decided to channel a bit of practicality, probably much needed, with my lovely suede ankle boots instead. The color fits pre-fall perfectly, and to say they're comfy would be the understatement of the year. Now before I show you this next lookbook outfit idea, I will say I know this one isn't going to be for everyone. However, I put it together so naturally that it felt like me straight away. And that's often the trick when it comes to styling a great outfit. It doesn't have to be on trend, it certainly doesn't have to be expensive, but when it really feels great, chances are it looks it too. So this is my wild card mishmash. A host of pieces I've collected along the way that really suit my personal style. Thinking of that transitional period and giving myself options, I've layered a black vest underneath that coffee sweater, loosely tucking that just at the front of those pleated linen trousers. I've given them a turn up just to add to that relaxed vibe and then I've added one of my other favorite pairs of ankle boots with these very distressed ones I got from All Saints. These are so old and I bought them secondhand as well, so even older, but I love them. They're brilliantly battered in that lovely lived in fashion. And though I know this look isn't gonna be for everyone, I personally really love that boho essence that they add to an outfit. It's easy, it's versatile, and oh so very comfortable. A very me kind of look. 
While summer might be my favourite season, there is something quite exciting about getting to integrate all my lovely blazers again. They're just easy fixes when you're not sure what to wear or what the weather's going to do. Here, as you can see, I'm making good use of this military style blazer that I got from another favourite Parisian brand, the Couples. Now this one is old, so it's sadly not in stock. However, I would advise at the end of this video, having a look at their collection in full because they always do the best blazers. They're always very original, beautifully made, kind of blazers for life really. Now it's pretty structured and I went true to size, so there's none of that usual slouch that I like a lot. However, saying that, it is a statement blazer and I absolutely love it. It's one of those pieces that I think I will have forever. So to contrast with that polish, I've gone nice and chilled on my bottom half with my girlfriend jeans that I actually got from Suzanne. I bought those a while ago too, and although Suzanne don't have a huge amount of stock of any one piece that they bring out, but they come in and out of stock throughout the year, so it's worth keeping an eye on their website or keeping an eye on my channel for the next time that they're released. So continuing that super chilled, everyday feel, I've gone with my Golden Goose trainers on my feet. They were a great buy, actually. I did think twice whether I should really spend 300 pounds on a pair of distressed looking trainers. But proof is in the pudding, really. I've worn them so much since I got them a couple of years ago that um, they were definitely worth the pennies for me. I couldn't do a pre-fall lookbook and not include at least one tonal look. What I love about tonal looks is that everyone can do it and it has the same effect with us all. Whatever your natural style, your shape, your budget, a tonal outfit will always have that magic effect. Here I've come with my white jeans I bought at the start of summer, my oversized linen shirt, taupe pointed flats, and a sprinkle of deep navy with my jumper over my shoulders. If you don't want a big knot at the front or it's too bulky, I'll either tuck those sleeves into each other to hold it together or use a bobble instead. That way it won't keep falling off and annoying you. My numero set in two-tone camo is the finishing touch here and I actually really like that mixture of textures together. From the fluffy alpaca with my jumper to the linen, leather and denim. It adds interest and detail really subtly, which is something I try hard to achieve, particularly when I want my outfits to feel effortless. I really enjoyed styling these pre-fall outfit ideas for this lookbook, so I'm really hoping that you found it helpful and it's given you lots of outfit ideas as well. If you did want to support this channel, I would be very grateful for a thumbs up, and if you're not already subscribed, that would be lovely too. Do make sure that you tap all notifications on the drop-down menu, and it's annoying, I know, but that you've got notifications turned on for YouTube as a whole, otherwise you won't get them. That way you will never miss a video. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below and have a look at the beautiful collection from Nay And if you do decide to purchase something, I have that 20% off discount code for you there as well. Thank you, as always, for all your likes, your comments, just lovely general chit-chat going on. I'm always really grateful. I've got more fashion, outfit ideas, and styling tips coming up next week, so hopefully you will join me then. Have a great week, everyone. Take care.